Okay. Now, from 21 Alive Plus, this is your FastCast. Hey, good morning, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us for our 21 Alive Plus FastCast. Today is Tuesday, September 17th. We want to get um, right to some breaking news here this morning. I want to pull up a Facebook post from Whitco Community Schools here this morning. I'll read it to you here. Whitco Community Schools are closed today, Tuesday, September 17th, 2024. Local law enforcement has confirmed a threat in the community to student and staff safety. Today is an e-learning day for students. Thank you for your patience and for being a Whitco Wildcat. Now, of course, we have reached out to that school district to try to get more information. But again, if you have a student in Whitco Community Schools, they have confirmed that there is a threat to the community and to student and staff safety, so they are closed for the day. We're going to continue to follow up on this. You can look for more information on our website, 21alivenews.com, as soon as we get that information. And we want to go to downtown Fort Wayne here real quick. This is a live picture. This is on East Jefferson Boulevard. So we have fire crews on the scene. This was a working fire just about 30 minutes ago. It looks like that building is called Cash Cars. This is near downtown Fort Wayne. Again, that's 602 East Jefferson Boulevard. We have a crew there at the scene working to get more information as to whether or not anyone was hurt in this fire and maybe exactly what started it. As you can see fire crews are still there working it is not currently an active fire it doesn't look like but again we have crews on the scene working to get some more information for you guys and of course we'll keep you again updated on air and on our website 21alivenews.com okay liz we want to get a quick check of your weather forecast now here on our very busy tuesday morning We've got a nice day in store weather-wise. Kind of walk us through what we need to know. Yeah, I mean, more of the same. 80s and sunshine really sticking around for the week. In fact, this morning, really, that's the only tie-up you're going to see in dot cameras right now. Pretty quiet start to the day, but in some low-lying and rural locations, you might run into a few patches of fog. Visibility is pretty mixed depending on where you are. Here in Fort Wayne, especially in the city for the most part, you're A-OK. -okay. But especially when you start getting closer to creeks and rivers, that's where we have more moisture. That's where you can notice a few patches of fog. And over in rural locations like Defiance County right now, we're starting to see visibility down under a mile in some cases. Visibility issues this morning will be very short lived. We're talking about an hour or so. Now that the sun's coming up, things are going to mix out. Temperatures will warm up and all the visibility issues will be gone. Temps right now, 50s and 60s as you get ready to head out the door. Here's a look at what used to be the tropical system yesterday we were keeping an eye on. It continues to spin, but the rain is getting wiped out from this system. Unfortunately, not bringing us any rain, but it could bring in a few passing clouds over the next day or two. It's not even looking like a lot of cloud cover at this point, though. It's not going to have a big impact when it comes to your forecast in terms of temperatures or anything like that. Otherwise, today you can expect it to be mostly sunny with a high of 83. Just this is the coolest we are for the whole week. We'll be just shy of 90 by Saturday. OK, note how I put coolest in air or in little quotations yeah. because 83 is uh, pretty warm for mid September yeah. and uh, still not very cool. But no. I guess when you put it into perspective of nearing 90 by the end of the week, just in time for the Johnny Appleseed Festival. I remember yeah. this time last year being out at Stories wearing uh, a jacket. So, yeah, I guess. and look where we are this year. Yep. The times are changing. Yep. All right, Liz, thanks so much. Okay, we want to bring you guys the very latest on a police shooting that happened here in Fort Wayne yesterday. A man is dead after a police shooting that started on Hessen Castle Road after police were called on reports of domestic violence. So on their way to that call, police say a man intentionally crashed into a patrol car, prompting a chase. Now that chase later ended near East Leith Street, where the man fired at officers. Police say they then fired back, hitting and killing him. Now this marks the sixth police shooting in the Summit City since June. And it's also the fourth police shooting that turned deadly. Oh, excuse me, I have the wrong video up here. Um, like I said, it's also the fourth police shooting that has turned deadly, and we're learning the city is on track to surpass last year's homicide numbers in Fort Wayne. So are things as bad as they seem, and how does this impact the people of our community? The sociology department chair at the University of Indianapolis tells us it's, of course, a heavy weight to bear. Those who are uh, shot or their families, 
there's a lot of stress and anxiety that can stem from something like this. Even if you have a very low risk of experiencing violent crime, it can make you feel as if the world is less safe as a result of some of these things happening. Of course, this is a topic that gets a lot of people talking. She adds that while national crime rates are down significantly, it's what you hear about closer to home that leaves a greater impact. So of course, something are we are continuing to follow here in the newsroom, trying to get more answers as to exactly what happened, including answers about body camera footage and when that will be released. Okay, Liz, I'm going to br bring you back in here. Like you were saying, we've got the coolest day of the week. Yeah. We're still pretty warm, so hopefully you guys can stay cool. I mean, 83 in September, it could be worse. We could be yeah. really cold. I mean, not that it gets that cold in September, <laughs> but I was just thinking ahead this morning, and I was like, oh, my gosh, we got a big storm coming here this winter. <laughs> I don't think I'm uh, quite ready for it. Liz, yeah. would you do me a favor and pull up a tower camera maybe or a live look over the the, the cameras you I know I sure can but you're gonna have to talk because now I have to sign in oh okay you know what we'll just leave on leave oh. on us maybe just dip your head a little bit so then we can see behind you oh wait <laughs> hold on I got you this is gonna oh there, there it go. is okay it now looks cloudy and hazy out there there is your live <laughs> look on. over downtown Fort Wayne to kick off your Tuesday morning again lots of things we're following here in the newsroom this morning you can always stay up to date with us on our social media pages and our uh, website that's 21alivenews.com we hope you guys have a great day